Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Let's go meet with Reed to find out where the hell is the geothermal plant. Alright. It is up there. And I think we are supposed to get in there anyway. Okay. Hello. Please hold your mind when we discuss the grease monkey Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked Hello? Why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Hello. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. What are you trying to put into those cans? Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Um, I, I'll oh, wait. You're saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? Mm, okay, we can start with introductions. I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I must say, wearing a Marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. Oh. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Okay, better. I think it's best not to admit that we're not working for Spacer Choice. Oh. I think you may have the wrong idea. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Okay. I don't plan on staying long. Your business is your own. Nonetheless, you are welcome in our little outpost. Thank you. Outsiders are a rare sight in the Vale. If you are a freelancer, then I have use for you. There is pay to be earned. Of course. To tide you over, as you prefer. Mm. What sort of help? The sort of work for which I cannot spare my own people. I am in the midst of a difficulty, the resolution of which requires a third party. You. Okay. There's an old botanical lab. Mostly abandoned now, but still eating up power from our plant. Power which our cannery sorely needs. I need you to go to the geothermal plant and reroute power from the botanical lab over to us. Oh. Simple as that. Okay, when you say mostly abandoned... I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Okay. You mean more others? No. Tell me what I need to do. People living in the botanical labs. They're deserted. Oh. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. So they are not my others. By cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. What? Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Hmm. How will I recognize her? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. 
From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay. Mm, what if they... Wait, what was the reason they left? I ask too much and push too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. I don't trust you. <laughs> then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. I hope she will. Alright, I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. No! You need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Okay, I could use company, I guess. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Okay, is it going then? You've gained a companion! They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support, their skills enhance your skills, they increase your current capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Hi. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. Are you getting inside or? Okay. Oh, what the? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. Me. <sighs> You're already out of it. <gasps> I didn't see it earlier. Sorry. Can we chat? Yes, now you wanna chat? Sorry. I you just wanna get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Yes. Is it about the disorders? What's the other side of it? Well, he didn't strike me as the most honest. He ain't a liar. Hmm? He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Mm, did you work with them in the family? I don't know anybody, well. Okay. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. I can't buy any money for a living. Here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, I will talk to it. Good. I suppose it will hurt. Thanks, ma'am. You're welcome. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. Okay, then let's go meet with the vicar. A small metal device used to store rotational energy. <laughs> I guess just for selling purposes. Okay, but all I can see is one. Can I? Where's the V-car? Do I need to? Try the logic module, the one tomorrow? Wait, isn't this summer region? No? Map? Okay, that... Hmm... I guess the Vika should be somewhere here. 
Thank you to the cemetery. Okay. Dina, village, and also a girl. Guess we'll walk around. Where can I find the vicar? Can we talk? Where are we headed? Okay. We're. This is much only your dad a lot, but never your mother. Okay. That's on account of how I never met her. Mm, is she dead? I don't rightly know. She rightly. Was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Oh, is it normal? I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Okay, I get it. Where can I find a oh, power aggregator? Yeah? That one that flies about the aether? Yes. That's a tall order. Uh, I guess the generator that powers best. I, I mean, the cannery. Okay, maybe. If we turn on the thermal plant like Mr. Thompson wants, we can shut down the generator. Then it'd be safe to yank the regulator. Okay. Then let's get back to it. Really, you cannot tell me. Yeah, huh? Okay. Where the hell can I find the car? All I know is that someone was supposed to meet with him. Okay, I see only one mark there. But where's the optional one? It doesn't show up here, but you know. This is there. Wait, which one is that? Don't retrieve the case of medicine. Comes. No. Oh, t there it is, speak the viper, which doesn't doesn't really show anything. Maybe he's there as so. well. Wait. Well, it doesn't really show anything in here, but I'll check it anyway. Okay, I think I found the right quest. Yes, there's the vicar. Oh my god. But luckily, all of the three other quests is in the same place, so there's that. Oh, alright, alright, maybe we should get inside. That would be easier. I've always felt weird in here. No wonder. Oh, that's what you mean. I thought it was just a bit too big. Hello! Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Hello. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Mm. <laughs> Hell no, you probably know everyone in town. But that wanted to talk to you. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? <laughs> cut power to deserters. If you could answer quickly or in a hurry, cut off the. Okay, the that's safety one. Safety from the marauders and wildlife. Yep. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So, what do you think of the group? 
They rejected the order of society and lived beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? No! Why? Why is this one locked? No, I want this one. Mm, so what do you advise? Your goal is to save as many as possible. Then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Okay. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. What? I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retreat. Of course, it is. Marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Okay, handsome sum. Well, what a vicar be after banned heretical books. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. What's exactly in this book? Mm. Yeah, I'll need to know a little bit more about this book. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Mm. Okay, I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Sure, of course. Where is it though? That's what I want to know. Yeah, the illustrated manual region. It's all in that part of. So. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Not that. Okay, but is my intelligence really so low? Yeah, it's good. Okay, I guess. Can I undo it? No, I cannot. Fine. Why the hell do I go out? Why would, why would I go out here? No, 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 I'm looking for the other door. Was somewhere there. Does this sends me straight to the green, to the Emerald Valley? Valley. So why would I decide to go the other way around? All right. Are you going? Thank you. Yes. Keep on the lookout. I don't want to be surprised by anything. Evicted, evicted. Damn it. Oh, that stuff goes boom. Oh, you don't have... You. Okay. Oh, this is for exploding. Okay. I don't know what I... Assault rifle, that's nice. Can I give you something? Something you need? Uh, you mentioned something earlier. Okay. Yeah. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine and it runs by law. 
Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Hmm, your mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. Oh, why would you want to talk to him? Vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Why? Is he over there? Anyway, can I give you something? I don't think I can. Hmm. This is 60. Oh, this, my button is still better. We'll go there anyway, so. I don't know. Oh, what loot? Give me those fruits. Ah, maybe. Oh, there's another place. Wait, why did I... What did I pick up there? Metal something. Oh, metal armor parts. Some scrap, I think. I would rather not run around, but... Yeah, okay, those are simply people. Ooh. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, you are my brother. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I think I already looted him. And I need a quick fix. Oh, she's gonna die. Can I heal you somehow? Coming back. Okay. Okay, you're healing over time. Okay. Me that. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities. I guess I'm fine. Where's the dead guy? Oh, there's another one. Compass. Hmm. Computer! Yeah. Messages uh, from J. Barto. Clement, I find I must disagree with your theories about the Earth Directorate's place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Halcyon and all the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war among themselves if the Earth Directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of an Earth Minister if they had the choice in the matter? Jefferson? Jefferson, of course I would never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrive is to be found out here among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high costs of the Great War left them in a weakened state and the skip drive was simply the extra leverage that the dir Directorate needed to return to power. Clement. Okay, and that's where we're gonna end this part. Thank you very much, stay alive and see you soon.